Hi everyone, it's Christy from Mommy Loves Makeup. Oh my gosh, uh, Marinda, thank you so much. I am just so humbled that you gave me a shout out and um, I just think it's miraculous that I have all these new subscribers. I'm just so tickled. So thank you, thank you, thank you, um, Marinda, the Barbie with muscle. I'm sure that's where most of y'all are coming from. And I just, I'm really excited to have you watching. Uh, I don't know if I can live up to Miranda's expectations, but I, I appreciate the sentiment. Let's see. Today has been a crazy day. This whole week, in fact. Um, um, I'm a homeroom mom for both of my girls, and that's kind of crazy. I just, I don't know how I got myself into that mess. Uh, and all you mommies out there, never say to a teacher, uh, if nobody volunteers to be homeroom mom, I can do it. Especially if you're already homeroom mom for your other daughter or other kid. Not a good idea. You'll end up pulling your hair out. Anyway, so it's kind of the whole Mother's Day thing at the school, so there's a lot of events. And um, let's just say I have been sweating my tush off because the humidity has hit Florida and it has hit Florida hard. Um, and for me, an Eskimo living in Florida, I, I just cannot even tell you how much I hate summer. I call it summer even though it's not even summer yet. It just, it feels like it. It's just so hot and humid already. And, um, okay, for all my new viewer viewers, it's probably going to seem like I have foundation ADD because um, I've been getting a lot of foundations lately. And I'm actually happy with a lot of the ones I'm using, but um, since the humidity has hit, I, again, was just, I feel like I need something lighter. And what's happening with the Makeup Forever HD, although I love the way it looks, it looks awesome on my skin. Um, and again, I only love it when I use it with the MAC Prep and Prime, the SPF 51. Um, and I need an SPF because I have melasma. So my skin is um, combination skin and in the T-zone it's really oily. And when it's hot and humid and my pores just open up with sweat, a lot of foundations just do not hold up on my skin, liquid foundations. So that's normally why in the summer I switch to powders. And um, But I don't know, I just like the way the liquids look. Especially when you get older, you just kind of like the, the luminous look that you get from a liquid. And um, I don't always you know, love the powdery look that you get when you use a powder. Uh, you know, it just mattifies your skin too much. And, uh, you know, as you age, it's kind of nice to have a little bit of that glow. Makes you feel like you still got a little bit of that youthful something something in you. So, um, Marinda, I, maybe it was last week, had talked about the Laura Mercier um, Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer. And I like her original tinted moisturizer. And I use that um, religiously, I would say, in my late 20s, early 30s with a powder and I liked it, I liked it, the sheer coverage. Especially when my melasma wasn't acting up, it was perfect, pretty, nice and sheer. So I was on a mission to go get that. So I went to the mall and I went to the, the Laura Mercier counter and I had them apply it on me. And I wore it for the whole day. And honestly, for me, I think because my skin just with the humidity and I don't know, it just made my pores look big and it had like a a glowiness to it, but not like a glittery glowy thing, but just something that was, it was doing me no favors. Um, so it just turned out not to be the right thing for me, but then I was, you know, the wheels were spinning and I was like, I just need something new, I need something new. So go back to the mall and I'm back to the Laura Mercier counter and uh, I have them put on I was trying to decide if I wanted to just go back to using the tinted moisturizer or try the oil free, which I'd never actually tried. So I did the old half, one half of my face, one thing, and the other half a totally different thing. And so this is a totally different day. And um, so I'm thinking, okay, I get the nude tinted moisturizer, and this time I actually tried the oil free because I'm thinking, you know, since it's summer and it's so humid, maybe that'll be good. But uh, I don't know. I didn't love the, the nude one. Just didn't wasn't the right color. It was a little bit too light. So then I was looking online and saw that Sephora has those starter kits and you get all those extra things. So I was like, all right. The foundations weren't, they weren't bad. They just didn't, they weren't better than what I already had, you know, which is the, um, 
Make It Forever HD, and I also have the Shiseido Sun Protection Liquid um, Foundation, which I also really like, and I will say it on a different day, I tried to go back and get the darker color of that, because right now I have SPF 50. And so I tried the SP, uh, sorry, not SPF, SP60. Um, I have SP50, I want to try SP60, but uh, it's a darker color, but it has cooler undertones to me, and I don't know, it just didn't really look good. And then I just didn't want to mess with the whole, you know, mixing colors and stuff. So I was like, all right, maybe I'm not going to get that. But I still like that foundation. And honestly, when I go to the beach, I probably will use that foundation and just use like a bronzer over top of it just because it's just a really good foundation that I don't have to worry about, you know, putting, you know, a SPF under it. So I do like that one. But again, I just wanted something lighter and that Make It Forever HD once... Once it starts breaking apart, when the humidity hits, it like just kind of gets all cakey and crackly up in my um, glabella right here where my those 11 lines are. And anyways, long story short, I totally went and bought something that I bad mouthed um, not even a couple weeks ago, I don't think. This is the NARS Sheer Glow. I got in the color Punjab, and guess what? It is a perfect perfect color match. If you are in the Makeup Forever HD um, 125, this Punjab is a good color match. I mean, they're so close and similar on my skin. So, um, and what's funny is when I tried this the other time and I kind of just poo-pooed it and said it sucked, basically, um, I was color matched at the counter with the color Ceylon and it was actually too light for me and it came out looking streaky and so I was just like hmm that's nothing I don't really like that and the, oh and the other thing is the texture of it I had that they used the um the NARS primer and that's what actually I didn't like was the primer it gave this kind of tackiness and I just didn't like the feel of it on my skin so I went to Sephora and I had one of the male uh, makeup artists and this is an odd thing to note that for whatever reason, the male makeup artist always seemed to do a better color match on me because he was like spot on and he totally, I couldn't decide between this and the, the um, sheer matte so we did again one half of my face sheer matte, one half sheer glow and we both were like, oh my gosh, the sheer glow just looks so much better because the sheer matte on my skin, it just, you could see it and um, even though I really don't have too many lines, I really don't have um, crow's feet, but I have a little bit of, you know, kind of few lines there. It just, ooh, it just made my skin look parched, even though it's not, especially in the cheek area. So the NARS Sheer Glow just gives this really slight um, luminous sheen. I don't want to say glowy, because it doesn't, it's not glowy, because that's the last thing you want to tell somebody with combination oily skin and like enlarged pores that you're going to get something glowy. Um, <clears throat> it's not. It's just kind of this luminous finish and this Punjab is such a good color. I apply it with my fingers and then I buff it out with my Sephora 55 and I do use the Matte Prep and Prime SPF 50 underneath it. Um, although when I had it at the mall and they you know put the uh, you know half one half the other no primer totally worked great but um, I just need the SPF because of my melasma, my brown patches. So basically what I'm saying, it's only two days into it, but I love this foundation. And today was the real test because I had to go to both of my girls' schools and sit outside. Why they do this to the mothers? Make us sit outside in the hot Florida humid weather. I don't know, but um, yeah, I dressed up all cute and then I went over there and sweated my arse off. It was so flippin' hot out there and uh, guess what? My makeup still looked good. It didn't do any of that funkiness that um, Makeup Forever HD does because suddenly once I start sweating with the HD, it suddenly, you can tell I have makeup on my skin because it's like breaking apart. Whereas this, um, and there was a few places where, like when I, I put it on at like, I want to say 7 in the morning. And then when I came back to the house around 1-ish, um, it still looked really good. And I thought for sure it was going to just look like crap. I didn't even want to look in the mirror. I was like thinking, oh, wow, if this stuff looks good, then hallelujah. And it did. So I love it.
that's all. Thanks.